Kevin, this looks like garbage. What's going on, guys? What TKD, the fuck is this? why are you talking? What's going on, guys? TKD was a video, and we are back. Wow, you look like um, you look like a, a black man. But was that the point? <laughs> um, it is Kevin, start the episode. I threw up gang signs at the beginning of this. This is so fucking corny. You did. All right. Anyway, can I finish my intro, or are you gonna keep talking? I, I can keep talking if you want me to. All right, well, please don't. All right, yo, this is episode 36 of Scramble Saturday. I got my boy Slim and me. Slim, what up? This is fucking trash. I got my boy Flex. Flex, what up? Flex, Flex, what up? All right, now, uh, you guys have been hearing Echo for the past videos. That's from Flex's mic. I apologize for that. Um, you know, just kind of just like, ignore it. You know what I'm saying? What? Okay, well, you don't know because I need you in the cast, but <laughs> uh, today we, you know, just I wanted to discuss this earlier in the week, but I I was just uh, at you know not a uh, not a, a stable mindset, if you will, to discuss this, but um, we are going to discuss the uh, the obvious elephant in the roof, elephant in the room, <laughs> Jesus elephant. Christ, roof in the room this week. Uh, pretty much the main headline that we've had this week. And that is the results of the 2016 election. Now, um, Billy, you can't vote, correct? You're not of age to vote. Indeed, sir. Uh, Flex, I believe you are able to vote, right? Can you unmute your mic and uh, give us a, a yes or no if you can vote? I'm not sure. I don't know if you've been arrested or not. Flex is like 19. Yeah, right? No. Turn on the generator? Let's do that. Sounds like right, a good let's, idea. Let's, let's turn the elevator. I mean, generator? Where's that? Well. I think Flex can vote. That's my assumption. Yeah, I'm gonna assume Flex Let's can vote. Let's pick up some C4. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Alright, well, uh, this was my first but election. As of right, and I'm gonna be just cumbleanos here. Um, I didn't like any of the candidates. Like, just, I didn't like them at all. But, uh, really, how? Um, oh, that, that's nice. Yeah, I just okay. didn't like uh, either of them, to be honest. But, but as of right now. With the way that it's happening, the way that things are conspiring, conceiving, and raping, um, I probably would have voted Trump because in the 24 hours he removes, he removed the ban from Muslims off his website, and then the video that I've just seen, which it's compiled together, obviously in a certain way, but it made me feel a little better about all of his views on things. Mm -hmm. And they're the complete opposite of what he told all the racist white people that voted for him. But doesn't that kind of still instill fear in you at some point? That like, oh, okay, so he can just take it back and just say something different and it's fine. Like, doesn't that kind of like, you know, does that kind of just like lead to like a mistrusting thing at this point? Where it's more of like a, okay, well, well, I mean, well, is he just playing the part because he actually got elected? Or is no the things like, the things that the, the the video that I saw was like all of those videos were compiled from like years ago, a long time ago. <laughs> oh well, I mean like I know that I've seen the video, but um okay back to just on, back to what I was talking about. So this is my first election, right? And you know ever since he announced his running for presidency, right? Ever, ever since he fully announced it, I thought it was just a joke. Like, I thought he wasn't being serious. I thought, um, you know, he j was just kind of doing this at, just as like a, you know, just as like a stunt or whatever. Why you keep, why you keep going down? I keep trying to punch them. Oh, but you know, like, I just felt like, you know, he wasn't serious at all. Like, he was just joking him, whatever. But, um, now we're here, you know? Now we're here. Mm -hmm. He literally is the president of the United States. Um, it happened, and I just remember sitting there election day watching this all unfold, and just like this is this is crazy. Like I, I would have never thought that we would legitimately put him um, in the presidency. Like never, I never thought this would happen in the million years. You know what I'm saying? I just always felt like. You know, yeah, there's gonna be Trump supporters, right? And they'll vote for him, whatever. But I just felt like the overwhelming majority of people would have just voted for Clinton just because he, you know, she's not Trump. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, like she, you know, is in politics. Like she's physically qualified for the job. Trump has never been a mayor, never been a governor. Yes, he has 
started and ran businesses, you can put that on his resume, fine. But that's more of like running things on like a fiscal standpoint. I'm already talking about a social, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't believe that, you know, he's had any experience running a society, a social environment, as opposed to an economic standpoint, which he obviously has. You know what I'm saying? He started up businesses, you know, he's ran plenty of businesses. So he does have that, right? So I guess to a degree, you can say that he has some sort of leadership skills, you know, definitely, I feel. But I don't know about being the president of the United States, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. But, um, I mean, here we are, you know. And uh, I'm hearing a lot of things about how now there's riots going on. And there's this thing called, like, the Clexit, or now they want California to be its own state. That's retarded. Um, that's just me. That, that's just dumb. I don't know. What do you feel? How do you feel, you know, post-election, Slim? Uh, I'm trying my best to be optimistic, which means the mindset that all of them racist things that people think he's going to do won't ever, ever work. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that would have happened with Bernie. If Bernie was elected, none of the shit he wants to do would have worked. Yeah, no, 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 because... I can't anyone. believe that he's literally all over Twitter. Everybody's like, "Oh my God, you let this old man down!" Yeah, that old man would have ruined your life. Yeah, no, very, very like so. With my views on politics, right, I stand, I stem to lean very much in the middle. And in the middle, what I mean by that is that I, when when we're talking about money, when when we're talking about economics, the busily like economic you know standpoint of america i definitely lean a lot more republican right i have i definitely have a republican view on business a, re a republican view on money you know on wages etc like i very much have that view is very much of that standpoint right a very conservative standpoint. What is right? what is the Republican view on, on wages? So For more of like I'm like somewhat against welfare. I'm somewhat against um, uh, tax breaks. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm more of um, you know I'm just you know more of like not okay. Let's let's not have like uh, a a you know a um, social um, kind of like pot that we all put into. Mm -hmm. You know, Same. I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Same. Like, I'm more of, more of like, a, okay, like, you know, if you want to make it big, you know, in the economic standpoint, you start a business, you, you take a chance, right? You're an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more of like into that, like, entrepreneurship, building something, you know what I'm saying? Like, making, making your millions from scratch, you know what I'm saying? I'm not into making a living off of welfare checks, you know, and yes, there are some exceptions, obviously, but that's just kind of like a broad standpoint, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to social issues, I'm def I, I definitely am a democratic standpoint on that, right? And that it pertains to um, abortion, that pertains to gay marriage, that pertains to LGBT, you know, all those social issues. I definitely lean towards democratic slash libertarian, you know, where I'm more of like a, listen, like, if you, you know, want to marry a man, go ahead. If you want to, you know, you know, just all that stuff is, I'm definitely more of a democrat, you know, standpoint. So I, that's why I, I'd say I definitely am in the middle, and like, I guess you can say libertarian, but in some ways I'm not, but, you know, it's just kind of like a weird mixture with me. But, um, you know, this election, I, uh, I voted for Clinton, right? I'm not afraid to say that. Like, I'll, you know, just be straight up with you guys. I'll say it, you know, cause whatever, because I can. But, um, I did vote for Hillary Clinton, right? And, um, my overall, you know, going into this standpoint, going into that booth was that, bottom line, I don't like Clinton, right? I don't like Clinton that much. Not really a big fan. And I especially don't like Trump, you know? Not a big fan, right? I think Trump, like, on the TV show and, like, as an entertainer is funny. Like, I definitely like Trump, you know. The entertainer, he's funny. But he's not a politician. 
All right, so a little episode exception. Uh, the audio cut off on my Elgato in the recording. I don't know what happened last night. I was just, I was just doing it as I usually do, and uh, my mic kind of cut off at the end here. About three minutes of it got cut or deleted. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of just interject of what I was saying on that point, but I'm not gonna really know what I said, you know, uh, beyond that point. So we're just gonna, you know, take what I said uh, and just reiterate that. So basically, what I was saying here was that I voted for Clinton just because Trump was not qualified for the job, right? He has never ran a state. He's never, you know, ran, um, you know, for mayor, never been a governor, et cetera, like that. So he's never really ran a group of people, right? As opposed to Clinton, who's, you know, had a lot of experience in this field of work. Now, granted, Trump has started a bunch of businesses and all that. And like, you know, you can say that as, you know, a good way of leadership, but I just didn't feel like he was prepared uh, to run the country. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me, you know? I feel like Clinton was definitely more on the books, resume-wise, way more qualified to run the country. But hey, you know, that's just me. That's just what I felt. You guys should have voted Frank Underwood. 11,000 11, people voted for Harambe and 6,000 voted for Hennessy. So there's that. And there was this one kid that said, that posted a picture of his ballot and he he wrote in Paris Hilton yeah and then got mad when Donald Trump won oh, so there's snap. there's also that all right if you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe share all the good stuff and please keep the comments you know safe all right you know if you voted for you voted for it's all good it's all love here thanks for watching and as always I got you